programs at all the schools, and it all filters through to the high school. And the high school, which wherever Mr. Moreno go, over there, he's the director. We have some of the top groups in the state, if not the country, at the high school. Our symphony is top notch. I believe I just heard, is it true, Mr. Moreno, you guys are going to be doing Beethoven's third? Beethoven's third symphony they're going to be wow. performing at the high school. Wow. The high school symphonies had a history of playing Beethoven's fifth, Beethoven's sixth, Dvorak's eighth and ninth symphonies, amongst many, many other professional level pieces. And that's where these kids will all end up several years from now. So what we do in the junior highs is try to teach them all those skills that when they get to the high school, they're going to be able to take that stuff on and play it really well. And I'll tell you, it never fails. These kids are incredible when they get there. So, um, so with, uh, well, here we are. I guess we're good to go. This is the workshop orchestra. The piece we're playing is called the Baby Elephant Walk. The reason why we chose this piece this year is, um, as some of you might know, at the end of the year, we do what's called the Elephant Orchestra. Well, last year when we were at Harper, we, we beat the uh, fire code by about 300 people. <laughs> and we had this wonderful and horrible, horrible experience of someone passing out while they were there. We had to call the fire department, and it was not easy to get them out because of that. And so what we decided to do this year was to split it in half because it's so huge. So there's going to be two different ones this year based on the program your student will be entering in junior high. And we're going to be calling them the Baby Elephant Orchestra. So in honor of that, we have the Baby <laughs> Elephant Walk. Alright, here we go. Let's hear all A's first. Let's make sure we're in tune. All A's, please.
until we see these guys in the junior highs. I cannot wait. These kids are really phenomenal. They work hard, they have incredible attitudes, they have a lot of fun, and they play well. I mean, it's, it's no joke. These kids really, really know how to play. Guys, that was wonderful. Really, really proud of you. So, um, Okay guys, just want to remind you that was just a very quick afternoon, okay, they learned that very difficult piece. For many of these guys, that was like probably the hardest thing they've learned in elementary school and they did it all in an afternoon. Um, a few people I want to thank for making today possible, um, all the junior high school students, can you please stand up? for giving us your Saturday and working so hard and being so sensitive to the younger kids. Um, we really enjoyed watching you work with them today. You guys obviously did an excellent job to pull off the performance today. Thank you again. Um, I want to thank DSOMAR, Davis Schools Orchestral Music Association, for sponsoring today and our awesome parent volunteers who worked. Lonnie Folger and Marion Bilheimer, where you at? call them our workshop goddesses. <laughs> um, and I'd like to invite um, Hiram Jackson to say just a quick word about things that are going on for um, next year. And um, Hiram is the, uh, he's right now the president of DSOMA, which is our, our official booster club in the junior high and high school orchestra program. All right. Um, I have uh, participated in the orchestra program as a, as a parent with the Booster organization for about 10 years and um, I've seen it do a lot of great things for my kids um, as a parent. I uh, can't exactly choose what friends my teenagers pick, but uh, they make friends in orchestra and I feel great about that. And uh, any, you know, any activity that uh, where the students are interested in coming to school, are interested and, and excited to feel uh, like they belong. Um, as you know, every year in these times, we have not uh, necessarily had an easy time in the budget. And so I'm here to talk a little bit about uh, how the budget is affecting the music program at the moment. Um, there's a proposal in the school, uh, with the school district or the school board to basically cut the junior high program, music program, in half. And it's, this is because they're going to be, um, uh, or the proposal is to eliminate uh, seventh period for uh, seventh and eighth grade. Uh, if you have children who are filling out planners for six, uh, seventh grade, then I believe you'll be seeing there's an option for your kids to um, sign in for a schedule for six periods and then one for seven periods. Um, so depending on how things shake out, um, then your child will be accommodated under whatever conditions. Um, one way that the community is uh, addressing, dealing with the, the shortfall in the uh, cuts to music as well as other programs is that there is a parcel tax that is on the ballot. It is a uh, mail-in ballot or mail-in election, and it's Measure A. And if you'd like uh, information about it, I have it um, here. As you leave, you can pick it up. The uh, ballots will be going out to registered voters in the week of 